intelligence called itself Sergeant Buchanan. Hello, sir. Can I help you? What's that? Can I help you? I was looking around. Just... Can I ask why you're filming our facility? Oh, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool actually because of the wash and everything. Uh-huh. kind of curious how this, this whole thing began, you know. <laughs> okay. Do you want to come up here and chat with me a little bit? Am I, uh, Do you mind? Am I detained or? I just need to talk to you because you've been filming our officers in and out, so. Of course, as usual, I'm going to pick this apart piece by piece. Please note that she was very clear about why she stopped him and made contact with him. And it is because he's been filming her officers in and out, so. I just need to talk to you because you've been filming our officers in and out, so. I and I can't do that? that. Huh? And I can't do that? I mean, I was in a public area, so. Okay. Now note that when he says he was in a public area, she nods her head in agreement and says, okay. This will become very important later on because it's very clearly established at this point that the only reason she stopped him is because he's recording in public and they both agree about that. What's your name? I don't want to give you my name unless I'm not being threatened by arrest, so. Am I under arrest or is it? You're not under arrest. What's your, what's your name? Why are you filming our facility? Again, she reaffirms that the only thing she's concerned with is that he's recording in public. I just told you, I like the history around this place right here. Okay, well, while you're talking to me, you got a baton here, I'm yep. just gonna hang on to it. Why are you touching I'm me? talking to you, okay? Why are you touching me? It's for my safety while I'm chatting with you. At this point, you can probably all see why at the beginning of the video, I said that she was of less than average intelligence. That was an understatement because she may actually be as dumb as a bag of hammers. This is not a Terry stop because even for a Terry stop, you have to have reasonable articulable suspicion of a crime. This is a consensual encounter. Therefore, she has no right to pat anyone down or remove anything from anyone. If she feels unsafe, maybe she should have just stayed home. Cops like this are the reason I did all the script flip videos I did. To show how ridiculous and bizarre it is to walk up to somebody you don't even know and try to disarm them for your safety. Can you do me a favor while I'm dealing with you? Can we go ahead and put your firearm up for my safety? Absolutely not. No? I just need for my safety. So you're licensed to carry that firearm? I am, yes sir. Okay. For my safety, you don't want to go ahead and put it up? You no, don't no. want to have that respect for me and my safety? No sir. Well, while you're talking to me, you got a baton here. I'm yep. just going to hang on to it. Why are you touching while I'm me? talking to you, okay? Why are you touching me? It's for my safety while I'm chatting with you. Well, I'm okay. here. I'm not going to do any harm with you guys. Okay. So, what's your badge number? It's 51079. And what was your name? What was your name? It's Sergeant Buchanan. Badge number? I already gave it to you. Okay. What's your name and badge number? I'm sorry, sir. I'm having a hard time hearing you. What's your name and badge number? Now pay attention closely here guys, this officer is here to save his sergeant. He already knows that his sergeant is illegally and unlawfully detaining somebody. Even though she's already clearly articulated why she's there and why she's about to do what she's about to do to him. He is here to attempt to try to change the narrative to save her stupid ass. At this point, this is still a consensual encounter. Although my reading of her demeanor tells me that I believe if he attempted to walk away, she would probably grab him. Alright, I just want to know why she touched me. I, I just so, out here, I don't know what's going on. I'm just over here doing a story. Okay. Trying to, you know, in a public area, try to uh, record everything around here. I mean, I saw this wash right here, and said, it's pretty cool. You know, I don't know what this whole thing started. Like the washers being here, or the police station was here first. It's a pretty simple question. He just wants to know what came first, the wash or the police station. We may never know. That's all I was trying to figure out, to look around in public areas. Okay. So you're touching me, I, I want to know why. Because you think I'm a threat? You're going to do the story, or? Got a baton on your hip, sir. Yeah, it's for protection, not from you sure guys. That I'm safe and that you're safe. We're not oh, trust me, that's why I'm right here, okay. you know, away from you. <laughs> Can you explain to me why you're filming over here? Because I like to film in public area, so public area, right? Okay. Well, I'm going to detain you right now. So oh we investigate, God. okay? Really? Guys, she's been very clear about the reason she encountered him, and now she has detained him for that purpose. In case you forgot what the purpose is. I just need to talk to you because you've been filming our officers in and out, so. I don't know what's going on. In a public area. Know. Now, this is also very important. Notice at this point, this officer says, I don't know what's going on. Oh, he knows exactly what's going on. I guess maybe he's just hoping that if he says he doesn't know what's going on, his accountability will be removed for helping or doing what she's doing. I'm being detained. Okay, I'm okay, back. So figure that out. I don't want your camera to get broken. I'm just going to hold on to it. I'm recording this incident as well. There's breakable stuff in there. You know that, right? I have more cameras in the back. Okay. This is ridiculous. 
in a public area. Right, we'll we'll figure out what's going on. Right now, I'm detaining you until we figure out what's going on. Now, apparently, she doesn't know what's going on, so she's just gonna throw somebody in handcuffs until she figures out what's going on. But guys, there are no lights on upstairs with this woman. This guy may be detained indefinitely because I don't think this woman will ever figure out what's going on. Okay, I'm gonna hang on to this while I'm talking to you. Hey, do not consider searching the seizures. All right, he's gonna hang on to your backpack. We're gonna walk up here. I'm not considering searching the seizures. Okay, I'm not searching you. I'm gonna pat you down for any further weapons. Do you have any more weapons on you? I am glad that even though the male cop knows that what's going on here is wrong and he refuses to stop it, he does at least keep the man's camera recording and keep it in close proximity to what's going on. Yeah, you got it. Mine's pointing this way too. Do you have first amendment monitor or something? I hear I hear I'm a Viking fan too. I know it doesn't mean much to you right now, but. It's the first time I've ever been to Well, you're, you're um, on our facility. You're you're videotaping police operations. So, mm -hmm. oh, okay. I, in public area. I was told you were over here standing on our property filming. So, so again, she states why she has detained him. She claims that it's because you are on our property filming our operations over here. Police department property is public property. She never claims that he went into any restricted areas because she knows that he didn't. I have personally recorded at this police department, so I know how it's laid out. All of the restricted areas at this department are actually fenced and blocked off. This is not a place where you can even accidentally walk into a restricted area. You would have to destroy property or jump over a fence to get to a restricted area. Yeah. I know that the sign is right here, but I didn't go past the sign. Okay. So we're okay. gonna review our cameras and, and if you if that if we got some wrong information and that indeed is the case, then as I understand you might be out of handcuffs here in a second. But it sounds like a crime was reported to us that you were trespassing on. I wasn't on trespassing. Our okay, well that's what was reported to us, right? I think what types of So we got so. we gotta investigate it if it's reported to us, right? We can't take any anybody's side and anything like that. So so that's why you're detained today. So just a minute ago, this male officer claimed that he didn't know what was going on. But now that Sergeant Bag of Hammers Buchanan has detained him in handcuffs and claimed that he's detained in handcuffs because he's recording from public spaces, he attempts to cover for her by saying that they got a call saying that he was trespassing because he had passed restricted areas. Either this officer was lying before when he said, I don't know what's going on, or he's lying now when he says that he got a call that this guy was trespassing because he had passed a restricted area. My guess is that he's actually lying both times, that he's always known what's going on and he knows this guy didn't pass a restricted area. I know you guys have cameras everywhere, so check yeah, those. I'm going to be checking them. Um, I don't know how to work the system, but I'm going to find somebody who does. And we're going to be working on that. Okay. What's your name, sir? I'm okay. I did nothing wrong. Okay. Nothing wrong. Okay. Right here, you're just, if you're just out here filming, it's obviously a public area. So, you're right. the track? so the, the track is public as well, but yeah. what it sounds like was reported to my sergeant is that you were on our private drive past the no trespassing signs. Again, you cannot get past those no trespassing signs without either jumping over the wall or smashing the fence. They never do actually go to check the cameras. What they do is they have Sergeant Bag of Hammers Buchanan walk away. She gets on her cell phone and talks to somebody. Probably someone who tells her how stupid she is and how bad she screwed up. But they most likely also tell her, this is how you're going to get yourself out of this situation. We're claiming that somebody reported that he was in a restricted area. But this guy ended up detained in handcuffs for about 10 minutes before Bag of Hammers Buchanan released him. While you're detained, I'm going to go verify that information, okay? I'll be right back, okay? Sounds like what was reported to us is it was a crime. If there was no crime actually committed, and it was a misunderstanding or miscommunication on our part, then we're going to apologize and take you out of handcuffs in just a moment. So like I said, if, if everything you're telling us is true, then you're going to be out of cuffs, but we had to report the crime, so that's why you're, that's why you're, that's why you're, that's why you're